saying he'd lock people up for doing it. We start tonight with Chris Saliza, journalist, senior advisor at the DGA Group, Sean Spicer, News Nation contributor, former White House press secretary, and Shaniqua McClendon, vice president of political strategy at Crooked Media. Nice to have all of you here. Thank you, Saliza. Good to have you along for the show as well. Spicer, start with you. Thank you. This was designed to reach out to moderate, either Republicans or independents, who watch Fox News, who were shall we say, Harris Curious? Kamala Curious. Kamala Her Curious. Uh, you, I'll go for you for the alliteration. Uh, did she give them reason to be more than curious? I don't think so. I mean, the immigration answer off the bat was disqualifying. That was the first topic. That was the first topic, but it, it went on and on and on because she can't answer the question. And I give Brett a lot of credit for going back to the question. Okay, these were your policies. You repealed 90 executive orders out of the gate. Don't talk about a bill that happened three and a half years later. Talk about the policies that you implemented and acted on right out of the gate. She couldn't answer that question. I think that's the number one issue facing a lot of voters. A lot of people tune into Fox, at least. Immigration, border security, right up there at the top. And for people who were Kamala Curious, that wasn't going to satisfy them. And then at the end to say, I'm going to be very different from Joe Biden. She's got an authenticity problem, Leland. Over and over again, she'll say what she has to say, use the accent that she has to use to whatever audience she's speaking to. And today was another example of, I'll say whatever I have to say, depending on who I'm talking to. Tonight didn't move the needle. All right. Uh, Saliza, uh, you're with us. This was the topic of your morning note this morning. Um, there are moments in politics that we all go back and remember, right? When, when races yep. turned on that one moment. Uh, did anything in this interview strike you as something that on November 5th, uh, we're going to be sitting around going, oh, well, that, th this, is what, this is when everything changed. I wish I was smart enough to say yes, but I'll, can I give you, Leland, I'll give you the one thing that stood out to me that if she wins, if she wins, and I do think it's a coin flip, as you rightly noted, if she wins, it will be because of that answer you played in the open, which is, a fact. I'm paraphrasing, I'm not Joe Biden. Now, the truth of the matter is, we've talked about this before, she should have said that two and a half months ago, and she certainly should have said it last week on The View. I actually think Sean has a point here with the authenticity issue. I don't know if voters follow it closely enough that they know on The View she said, I would do anything, I, I wouldn't do anything different, and then today she said, I'd be different. I don't know if they watch both of those things. Obviously, I consume all that stuff. I don't know if the average voter who's undecided at this point does. But if she does win, it will be because someone in her campaign or she realized you cannot link yourself to a president who is at 40% approval or lower and who's uh, handling of immigration and okay, the economy, got, the two so most important got, issues to voters. You can't do it. Okay, I got Spicer is he nodding the along. Bit? I don't have... Yeah, yeah, but he, <laughs> we're going to give Shaniqua a chance here. We saved the best for last in the roundtable here. Uh, was there anything she said that's going to get her in trouble with Democrats? I actually think her going on Fox is also something that Democrats will appreciate. They got to see her just go really hard at Brett in this interview. Um, you know, she didn't get her second debate with Donald Trump, but she got an opportunity here to debate one of his uh, biggest cheerleaders, if you will. Eh, uh, I'm not sure that's fair, but go ahead. Okay. Well, I work at Crooked Media, so, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know. Consider I, the source. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do think that this is something that's going to make Democrats happy seeing her fight. But I also think that the Republicans who are Kamala curious are actually going to be excited, or maybe excited's not the word, but impressed to see her go toe-to-toe -to -toe and not shrink. Donald Trump has been asked to do unfriendly media several times. He well, has to not be, done well, that. Hold on. To be fair, there's not a lot of media that is friendly to Donald Trump, and he did Bloomberg. He did 90 minutes with Bloomberg there's yesterday. There's a reason. They, he, he, I think well, they're he, fair. He did, he, did, he did 90 minutes with Bloomberg. He's done NBC Meet the Press. So just, he, he has done fair. adversarial media. Hasn't but, helped him, though. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.